uh, running about 10 volts. We are right at 20 amps of current. You can see the output in our bubbler. Got relatively steady output. We tried something else this time. We had a problem with whenever the cell would get hot. If the contents would expand whenever it would cool off, it would pull all of the liquid out of this bubbler through the hose back into the cell. I've tried putting a, a T in, and I've got a one-way valve here. And so far, this seems to be working. Uh, using the one-way valve won't let pressure out of the cell, makes everything go through our, our bubbler. But whenever everything starts to cool off, that valve will open up and allow air to be pulled back in and, and bypass the bubbler. So it looks like that's going to solve one of our problems. Uh, something I noticed, like I said, this cell's been running for about an hour. If we reach down and hit the power switch and turn it off, we can clearly see our amperage has dropped to nothing. But we've got about two volts on the cell. And this is voltage from the cell. It's not much, but, but there is a little bit. I guess it's just residual voltage left over. I don't think there's enough amperage to, to do anything to be of any use. Well, we can turn back on. We see our voltage jumps right back up and our bubbler's going. And but again, we turn off. And we've got almost two volts. We can take our output, and as soon as we unhook, you can see our voltage drops. But as we hook back up, the voltage comes back.